526 days. That's how long it's been since fans have been allowed to be back at Minute Maid Park here in Houston. To put that in perspective, we didn't even know about the Astros cheating scandal at that point in time. Now, in case you didn't know, the road to Tokyo starts right here in Edinburgh, Texas. Empty courts. That's all we'll be seeing for the time being. The dominoes started to fall yesterday and they all came crashing down today. March Madness is officially canceled. Yeah, Chris, it's something that we've been hearing rumbles about for quite some time now. UTRGV already has baseball. They love their basketball team, but these are Texans. They like their football. Mission Eagles senior Ramiro Garcia was diagnosed with leukemia recently. A heartbreaking reality, but a very heartwarming response he's had in support of him out here at this event today. The challenge is simple. You brave the shave, and as you can see behind me, we have a couple of players currently braving the shave. Now, the number of players on the field might be a little bit different than what you see on TV or on Friday night, but one thing is guaranteed. These girls can play. We have Harlingen taking on the Westlaco Panthers, two undefeated teams, but a bit of a weird season. Westlaco has only played one game. Harlingen has had a good slate of games under their belt. What do you think we're going to see from this game? Today? Now, CBS 4 Sports with Amanda Atwell. Now, one of the biggest changes for Houston over the past couple of years, the man at the helm, Dusty Baker, is in year two of his Astros takeover. As for what he brought to the table in season one, history. Alibite, a strange season. Houston did what Houston does and ended it in the playoffs, making it the fifth team Dusty Baker has ever taken to the postseason. Preseason is in the books. A solid 6-2 and two start. The UTRGV men's basketball team kicks off conference play tonight against a new opponent. Welcome to the WAC, Dixie State University, moving up from Division Two in the Vaqueros. Here to give them a good old WAC welcome with a huge early lead, 23 to 9. Javon Levi adding to it, and Rowe will take first place in district after their win over McAllen tonight. And I don't know about you, Chris, but I just can't believe that we are already halfway through basketball season. Another weird week for the Cowboys this week. No Thursday night football, but a little extra time for some film and a different kind of film session. The Cowboys got to watch the Ravens play the Steelers yesterday afternoon. What do you think some of the major takeaways can be from Baltimore's loss to the undefeated Steelers? FCS football on the horizon. But what does that mean for UTRGV? The university has already taken part in feasibility studies to see if football would be an option. Okay, so it's early December. Can you believe <laughs> we are still over a month away from when state champions will be crowned for 5A and it's 6A? December. And they have a lot of cats, dogs, everything you can need right now. I'm pretty sure they have a kitten and puppy happy hour where you can, the adoption fees are waived. So they're nice free. Nice little discount. Yeah, yeah. nice little discount. So. From perfecting a pitch. You have to be more focused and more more of like an aggressive attitude. To tuning the perfect pitch. It's more of loose, like free, you practice it. Jason Garcia specializes in precision. Whether it's his first love. I've been playing the violin ever since I was five years old. Or his second. I've been playing baseball ever since I was around nine years old. Sports, school, and a string instrument have a required balancing act. Well, it all, it all starts at home. I balance my time efficiently here at the house. My parents have helped me become very well organized with my time management. I mean, he's just a tremendous young man. I mean, his work ethic is what it's all about. When it's time to practice, he's that guy that comes before and stays after. He's a quiet leader. These past two or three years, he's really led by example. That dedication paying off. Garcia is the first violinist from PSJA to make the Texas All-State Orchestra. And he's expected to start for the Bears this season. It's not necessarily cool, but to me, I, 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 like, I think it's cool, in my, in my opinion. Even cooler, being able to call the orchestra director dad. But don't think that's earned him any special treatment. Some kids didn't know I was his dad till like he was in eighth grade. I couldn't have asked anymore as a parent. I mean, he's an excellent musician. He's a top scholar. He's an excellent uh, uh, athlete. He's also an excellent candidate for college admissions. For Valley Central Sports, I'm Amanda Atwell. Sports were something we thought we could rely on. 
At this time of year, I don't think I've ever been home for the past 20 years. I've been playing baseball. And this is the first summer or the first spring that, um, I mean, I haven't played a competitive game um, in three months. But in what seemed like an instant, they became an afterthought. I mean, I'm just thankful to be healthy right now. I mean, obviously I want to play the game that I love, but like, there's bigger things right now. Now, the MLB wants to get back on base, but the path has been problematic. Like I said, I'm, we're all ready for baseball. We told, we told the league when and where we're ready to go, and hopefully that, they can make that happen. Regardless, they have to stay ready. On the call could be Saturday and, hey, come back and you have to be ready to go. So, I mean, I'm just trying to stay in shape. Push it away. Elite sports performance in FAR has helped keep them prepared for that phone call. The group of pro and college athletes train at the gym weekly. Being able to be around all these guys, uh, some big leaguers and stuff, just trying to stay positive, keep putting in work, and uh, not, not worry about what's going to happen, but just getting better every day. And it's fun, you know, it's competitive. We, we, we push each other, we try to make each other better, and uh, I feel like it's, that's going to benefit most of us in the long run. The future of their game unknown but one common goal when they step in the gym. Yeah, and it's been kind of weird, man, but we're kind of taking it for what it is and just continuing to try to get better and, and just waiting for the call. It could be tomorrow, it could be the next, it could be in a week, but whenever they call, we'll be ready to go.